Welcome to Dawn Protection video series. My name's Travis Burns and over here we've got Vin Bigham. Afternoon Vin. Afternoon. Okay, what Vin's going to do today is give, it, give us a demonstration on how to ascend a rope, so go up a rope. Then when he gets probably a metre, two metres off the ground uh, for our purposes, he's just going to do a change over and change out of his crawl, which is in the centre of, of his chest there. Okay, and then he's going to descend to the to back down to the ground again. Sounds fairly simple, but it is it's fairly physical, uh, and he's going to be using some leg straps and a bit of other gear, which we're going to run through as he goes. All right, so first port of call will be his safety line. So always we run twin ropes, as you'll hear us say all the way through, um, and he's now putting his red back on, which is on his safety line. All right, so that hasn't changed for any of our other series, but just so you can have a look at it there. So pretty well that goes up. Should something go wrong, that will support his weight. That, what he's got his hand on there, that, that uh, blue rope there, is what he's called his cow's tail. So that's from the safety line through to his harness. Just threads the rope into the crawl there. So I just want to show us again, Vin. Sorry, I might have probably, probably tripped you up there a bit. But uh, all right, so what he's doing is puts it, puts it inside the crawl there and releases the spring load on there. Should now, what happens is when he goes up the rope, it won't let him come down, all right? So there, basically what that does is support his weight, okay? So what that device there does, that crawl will let you go up, but it won't let you come down. So that's why he needs to change out later on, which we'll show you, and then to be able to come down the road. Okay, next thing is, is order of business is going to be some leg straps. These leg straps or foot straps uh, help him uh, be able to use his, his muscles in his legs rather than just rely on the strength in his arms uh, to pull him up the rope. Okay, so he, same thing again. The Juma. Yep, the Juma. Opens up the Juma, which is pretty well the same as the Kroll spring loaded. Goes in there. Goes this, the working line. Okay, straight on the working line. Also, if you notice, Vin is, is directly under the ropes, so he is vertical to the rope. If, if you just go back a bit, Vin, if he goes right back here and tries, tries to start to climb, he'll actually swing in like a big pendulum, which he doesn't want to do. He wants to keep it as, as uh, straight as possible. So he comes in under the ropes. Pull tension. Yep. Apply tension down through the crawl. Stands up. Keep tension down into your harness. The idea of this is to actually make sure the harness is adjusted on us. If we need to at this stage, we can realign our leg straps and adjust ourselves, gentlemen. All right, so feel comfortable. The shoulder straps are neat and tidy. Trev, I'm right to be deployed. Right, okay. To All right, if you can do it, start for us, mate. So what he's going to do, he's got to see his foot strap there, which is the black one. That's just going to, as I said before, helps him with his legs rather than try to rely on his upper body strength. All right, keeping it nice and straight and as close to the body as he can makes it easier for him. Yep, the rope trap is between my legs. So as I'm going straight up, the rope is uh, hold, sorry, vertical straight between my legs that makes it easier to climb. No worries. My backup is up high already, so if anything does happen, it will stop me straight away. Okay, so that back up there in his right arm there is going to catch him should something fail. But on this system here, quite a few things would have to fail before that happens. Yep. So yeah. as I pull tension down, I pull tension down through the crawl because the rope is slack. Once we get a little bit of weight on the rope, it will feed through nicely. So nice and comfortable. As I push down with my leg, I pull tension down through the rope. So up, nice and comfortable. Feed the rope up again, making sure I've got the right one. Tension down. And the technique is the leg directly underneath our uh, buttocks, our butt, and that's where it will give us all our power. So very comfortable. I drive the back up straight up again, very comfortable. Tension underneath and standing through. See that? There was too much slack in the rope. So, if you're a larger gentleman, what we do is to use the twin feet technique. We very gently pull, apply a little bit of tension, and as we feed up and through, it pulls tension down for us. Drive the safety up, readjust our feet, and very gently using our technique and feet. So what those feet are doing is actually keeping pressure on the rope, so the rope doesn't just curl up around his crawl. And just makes it a lot easier for him. Yep. So Mr. Our backup is up high. So what I'm going to do now is actually descend down, do a changeover from our crawl into our ID. So 
So we get our ID straight away, straight away into our harness, do up the carabiner. We have gold plate to our gold plate of our crawl. So we've got it set right. You're no good having it upside down, you, it'll just be too hard for you and it won't operate properly. Yep. We open up the plate. Just, now, our anchor system is, is still exactly the same. Our anchor is the roof. From before, as we come over the edge, the anchor comes down to the top. So what we do very gently, feed it down and around the cam, shut the plate on it, and what you'll see is there is about eight inches. That's too long. What we need to do is very gently feed it through and get as short as possible. So when we come out of the crawl, I don't drop too far down. I'm comfortable with that. So straight away like before, mechanical lock in. Which, lock, lock which locks the device itself. It's got a self-locking system in there. And then hard locking is just a, a, an extra safety backup. Yep. So from before I go any further, I'm almost ready to come out of my crawl system or my ascending gear into my descending gear. I bring down the Jumar, nice and comfortable. So when I stand up and come out of the crawl, I open up the crawl and then come down into the ID. Bring the red down, the back up, about head height, eye height. So if anything happens, I don't drop too far down. Right to go, Trav? Yeah, all to go, good to go. So okay. grabs his foot strap. Foot he's, what he's going to use is the power and his legs to lift him up, take the weight off the rope. Um, and I, I might, might just spin you around, Vin, just so everybody can have a bit of a look. So have a look here. All right, so what he's going to do, I'm just going to hold him so the camera can see you. When he stands up here, he's coming out of the crawl, which is up the top here. Okay, and then he's going to be relying on the system here to hang on to him. So he's going to use the power and his legs to lift him up. Good okay, to go, so Vin. Very gently, foot underneath. Stand up, after you stand up, open up the crawl, bring out our rope, close our crawl straight away, and lower ourselves nice and comfortable down into our ID. Now, that doesn't take I've still got two points of contact, so I've actually got three points of contact. Our ID, our backup, and our and Juma. The Juma now can come out. Well, opens up the gate. On the Juma or the cam. Hold that down a fraction. Yep. Lift up, open it up, close it straight away. I like to tidy things up straight away. So open up the carabiner, foot strap, two half turns, put that out to one side. So it's, it's neat and tidy, it's out the way, but I can get to it quickly if I need to. Now, like normal, our ropes are no longer between our legs. Put them onto our right hand side. So what we do, or the terminology is thumb towards the buttocks area, bring down our back up comfortable, release the hard lock, take tension up with our hands, release the mechanical lock, and very gently descend down. So you're gonna to head towards the ground now. Nice and smooth. Good control, stop, bring down our backer. Nice and down, down to the ground, lock off, and stand up. Don't stand on the rope, out to one side. Now I'll we'll come off rope. Thanks, Trent. No worries, thanks for that, Vin. Okay, so on behalf of Dime Protection, thank you for watching the video on uh, how to ascend and then change out and descend. Um, on behalf of myself, Travis Burns, and Vin Bigham, thanks once again.